Our championship coverage is now underway. The Eastern Eagles are right now on the field playing for a national championship. Eastern took the field about an hour ago. Right now, they're down by a touchdown and a couple extra points, nine to nothing. You can keep track of the news and the game. We will keep the score rolling across the bottom of your screen throughout our newscast tonight. Now, to the man who is at the game in Texas, KXLY4 Sports Director Derek Dice, live at Pizza Hut Park. Derek, it's not looking great yet. No, the offense needs to get untracked against Delaware's very stout defense, but I tell you what, the Eagles fans here in attendance, pretty impressive showing. We weren't exactly sure how many fans to expect. We'd heard they'd sold over 1,300 tickets, but I tell you what, from the sea of red in the parking lot, the tailgate section before the game, it made it feel a lot like home. Go Eagles! If the weather wasn't so warm out, you might think these fans were tailgating an upper lot in Cheney. It's awesome. It's great to see this much red here in Texas. It's awesome to see the fan travel. You know, I'm not going to lie. It's like being at home. We got enough red here that, uh, you know, it's just like being at home. And these diehard fans weren't about to miss a chance to see their Eags battle the Blue Hens. It's massive, man. It's once a lifetime experience for a lot of these guys uh, that, that got to come down here and, uh, and watch the game. I mean, it's a great atmosphere. But not all of the Eagles flew south. Bo Levi Mitchell's family, about 20 of them in all, drove five hours north from Katy. Uh, you know, it's been a long, hard season for the boys, and it's a good road back home, and it's great for him to be here in front of friends and family and people he loves, and just a chance for the whole entire team to shine. You know, and even though Mrs. Mitchell said there were 20 of their family members here for the game, she said about 100 people made the trip up from Katie for this big game. And she mentioned the chance for the team to shine. Well, they need to get it going now because they've gone punt, punt, punt on their first three possessions while Delaware scored a touchdown and a field goal, and they've got the ball again.